Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Fitz. Welcome to episode 52 of Pokemon Mega Power version. Uh, last episode, we took on a Team Delta base. Uh, we caught up with Maxi and Xenia, and apparently they are uh, have joined Team Delta for the good of the world, I guess. We just got a call. That's weird. Alright, so uh, in this episode we're going to head towards Chestnut Town. Our Pokemon are super weak, so uh, hopefully we can heal up soon. Uh, we don't really know what's going on. I guess the dark workers are trying to ruin everything. Can't capture Quasar, so that is what it is, I guess. And this was blocked off before, but now we can head in. So first things first, let's heal up. And I'm guessing there aren't any cool items to buy. Actually, I'll buy 20 Hyper Potions. Most of the places weren't selling those. All right, cool because we were running low on full restores. Uh, so Hyper Potions, I mean, they won't fully heal up our Pokemon all the time, but I don't really want to buy Max Potions just yet. What is this? Just nothing? Okay. Just a weird map design. Alright, so there should be a gym in this town, and I think that'll be our second one in this region. I think there's one or two more after that uh, in the beta. So we do have a couple of people standing out here. I think that's Sybil and someone. And we got one of these adventurers clubs. Okay. Something about an island that's now unlocked. Okay. Alright, and maybe two more houses or something. Just one more. I think we talked to her. This is a sundial. That's pretty cool. I'm sure uh, this will probably be where we meet Rayquaza or something. So let's take on the gym. Hmm, you got that badge ahead of me. Not bad. Thanks. Don't you think I can also be a good trainer just like you? Maybe. Better than I expected. That doesn't mean I'd, I'll admit what I was wrong. Okay. So, they have some kind of rivalry going on. And... Okay. That girl's just a bundle of words. I thought we were going to have a... Uh, battle against Absolve. Uh, I guess we just had one. So it's you again. Tell me, Professor, what's Absolve doing here? It's hard to explain. Came the leader of Team Delta, and she's a traveling trainer. I don't get it. Okay. One thing is clear. You don't need to care about her. She's fine. That's good. She's the only person I care about. Right, what's your boss instructions? Okay. Oh, thanks. If you want to go in the desert, you'll need that. He disappeared. He said that his boss will meet me someday. Who is it? I'm guessing it's Wind? Or the Zoroark girl? I'm not sure. Alright, so this is a normal type gym? Well, no, maybe not. <laughs> Just random. Fair enough. Okay, so we should be able to just kind of sweep through these people. Sorry about the lag right there. We're on to the next trainer. There we go. Did she really go for a Thunderbolt right there? It's kind of silly. Yen Xiao. Okay, so this might be the first gym that doesn't have a particular type. Alright, let's just continue this way and see where it takes us. Alright, let's, uh, let's area lace and return. Alright, nice to get Aromatisse out of the way. It's a bulky, very bulky man.
Let's use a full restore and return semi poor. Ow. Alrighty. <laughs> that didn't work out. Yeah, I guess we'll fake out semi poor and crunch you. Oh, that's fun. Double double teams. Alright, at least we hit them both. And. Damn, we're getting destroyed right now. That didn't KO. Well, this guy has a full team of six, and then we have to battle someone else? Gengar, we should be able to take out. I'll heal up after this. Wow, that does nothing. Let's revive... Garchomp. Somehow we outspeed though. So that's good, I guess. Houndoom. Okay. Well, shoot. <laughs> we might lose this one. Well, maybe not. Alright, so play ref is still broken in this game apparently. I don't know what's up with that. Alright, this girl's got a sand team going. Pretty cool. Uh oh. This could be bad. <laughs> it missed whatever attack it went for, that's good. And Garchomp can probably KO us, but. Yeah. Our ground guard chomp should outspeed. And Weavile. Let's see if we outspeed. That sand veil came in quite clutch for us. Okay, we're gonna heal up real quick. I'll see you guys right here. Alright, so it looks like this gym is just symmetrical, so you don't have to take on everyone here, I assume. Uh, we don't really need the EXP, so I think we'll start with Garchomp, we'll save, and uh, hopefully we can take this guy down. That Mega Steelix is definitely imposing, but uh, it spent 53 minutes and 27 seconds to meet me. I guess that's super speed. You're too slow, I'm not kidding. When I was a general of the Lande army, it was very important to do everything in time. If you were in my army, you would have been killed by our enemies. I don't want anyone to die, that's why I'm strict to everyone. You're lucky, you don't have to risk your life to battle with me. Okay. I thought we were actually going to have to redo it or something. So, that is the disadvantages of super speed. Uh, this isn't a great matchup for us, but hopefully he doesn't like set up spikes and hurt our team in that way. Metal Claw's not going to do too much. About the uh, same as what Leftovers is doing. So since he has Mega Steelix and um, possibly pretty defensive steel types, we'll go for another Sword Stance, just in case. We might as well get up to plus six, because it's his fault for using Klefki, to be honest. So Apparently... I didn't know Klefki was actually that fast. I thought it just had Prankster, so. Kind of surprising we're being outsped. But we should grow to level 90 in this battle, so that's cool. Uh, we'll stay in against Gudra, so he just has a mix of all-star Pokemon, I guess. Uh, but he doesn't really have much of a chance here, so. This might be a short episode, but 
That is what it is. Alright, so he's gonna try to live a hit with Steelix. That's a small looking metal snake. But I don't think he can even take a plus six. Maybe Mega Agron could. But yeah. Not Steelix. Alright, Kingdra. As much as I love Kingdra, it's going down. So, I mean, when we have an easy battle just presented to us in the form of Klefki, we might as well take it, so. Sorry if you guys don't like that, but. Eh, Umbreon. No, that's not living this. And Mints. Probably should have sent that in first. Um, but a plus five rock slide, probably not living. Mega Salamence, with its natural bulk, might have. It spent you 15 minutes and 47 seconds to defeat me. I underestimated you. I'm sorry. You conquered me. I have to give in. Okay. Got the Night Badge. So I'm not sure if he just says a time, or if that really was the amount of time it took. Uh, Bulka probably not going to be super useful to us, so. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Mega Power. And uh, hopefully there will be more of these coming up very shortly. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.